Hi everyone. Today we wrap up our month long of learning together and I'd like to start with a Hasidic tale. It kind of wraps up all the sentiment of the month that we've shared together. It's called the Powerful Prayer. Once on the eve of the new year, when they were in synagogue, Rabbi Nachum of Chernobyl was reciting the afternoon prayer with great fervor. But his grandson-in-law, who stood near him, felt a sinking spirit. Everyone seemed to be praying with great concentration, but it took all the strength he could muster just to be able to figure out a single word and grasp its meaning. Afterward, he approached Rabbi Nachum, concerned that his prayer was unacceptable, for he had been unable to make his way through the service. Rabbi Nachum said to him, My son, how your prayer took heaven by storm today. It lifted up all those prayers that could not come through the gates. Even though we don't do things perfectly, we keep trying. And yes, our prayers are all elevated through to the gates of heaven, to the Holy One of Blessing, who will share with us a year that is sealed for good, where we're nurtured and supported. There is also a beautiful short prayer that I'd like to share by Jack Reimer. It said, now is the time of turning. To everything there is a season, and there is an appointed time for every purpose under heaven. Now is the time for turning. The seasons change as does the balance of day and night. The birds are beginning to turn and are heading more toward the south. The animals are beginning to turn to storing their food for the winter, for the earth, for birds and animals, turning comes naturally, but for us, turning does not come so easily. It takes an act of will to make us turn. It means breaking with old habits. It means admitting that we have been wrong, and this is never easy. It means losing face. It means starting all over again, and this is always painful. It means saying, I'm sorry. It means admitting that we have the ability to change, and this is always embarrassing. These things are terribly hard to do, but unless we turn, we will be trapped forever in yesterday's ways. Dear God, help us to turn from callousness to sensitivity, from hostility to love, from pettiness to purpose, from edit envy to contentment, from carelessness to discipline, and from fear to faith. Turn us around, O God, and bring us back towards you. Revive our lives as in the beginning, and turn us toward each other, God, for in isolation there is no life. I wish you all to be sealed for a good new year. Look for me again after the new year and after Yom Kippur, our Jewish Day of Atonement, when I'll start a new series about contemporary topics with a Jewish base. Until then, Dr. Rob saying, Lashana Tova. May it be a good year, a sweet year, and may you be sealed in the book of life for the coming year.